Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. You guys know I'm a blonde and color correction specialist and 95% of the time I'm taking my clients lighter, but today we are switching things up a tad bit. I will be taking my best friend Chloe to the darker side. So there are a couple of ways you can tackle this. In my honest opinion, anyone can apply a solid color all over. But when my clients want to go darker, I like to have multiple tones and dimension. You guys always want to give your clients a reason to come to you. In my opinion, there are only a few colors that work with a solid look. They are platinum blonde, red, or any color a level three or darker, which looks dark brown or black. Anything else, it must have dimension. So today I'm going to be doing what I call a foil conversion. It's like a reverse balayage, but the foil version of it. This is my favorite way to take my clients darker or add a little bit of dimension. There are a few ways you can go about this, and I have three different ways depending on the client, the hair, and the end goal. Today I'll be showing you one of those ways. I'm going to be doing a full baby low, which is the same as when I'm doing lighter baby lights, but we aren't using any lightener at all in her hair today, aka bleach. There's a couple of steps, but the first is doing this full baby low light. I'm going to use one of my favorite baby light foil placements and I'm going to be using all shades EQ today. If you've been following along on my journey for some time now, you guys know I've always loved toning with Shades EQ, and I was obsessed with using Joyco Lumashine for root toning, low lighting, and all over colors. But a few months ago, I started falling head over heels in love with Shades EQ for other things. I started using them for root toning, and I have been now using them a lot more for low lighting and all over colors as well. If you know anything about Shades EQ, they are liquid, which I love for root toning and all over toning, and they have the best jelly consistency that I love, but their dedicated developer is a processing solution, and that is a water-like substance. So in my past, when it comes to low lighting and whatnot, I would purposely not use Shades EQ because it would drip easily and get all messy and all over the place. Well, Reckon has answered my prayers, and months ago, they came out with a cream developer that actually makes the Shades EQ when mixed together a non-drip formula and more jelly Ooh, i love it i love it i love it i still do purchase the original liquid processing solution for when i'm doing an all-over toner i like how it lathers like shampoo and i can just mush it through the hair at the bowl when i'm toning so thank you reckon for the second option i love you guys so much also if you're new in the game and buying multiple developers and stuff isn't in your budget at the moment you can literally add a little flour to your shades eq and it will help thicken it up and not slow the product down or do anything weird. So I tend to get a lot of questions about Shades EQ like literally all the time. So I'm thinking about doing an in-depth video breakdown with everything you need to know about it. Some tips, tricks, formulas, and whatnot. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below if you're down for it and want me to do so. So as you guys can see, I'm continuing to pack these low lights in with Shades EQ. My concoction is mostly 6N with a dribble drabble of 6NB and 6WG. Now that I'm almost done from foiling her with all the low lights, and we're jam-packed with foils, because we want to keep it bright around our face and still have a money piece, but we don't want to use any bleach today. So what I'm going to do is I mix up a little bit of Fanola conditioner, and that's what I'm going to do is put these money pieces, foil them like I would a regular baby light or slice, and put the conditioner on so it protects them, and when I rinse it out, it will also be a barrier. I was ready to surrender my heart to you Only you These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you And the truth Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me why I know, I know, I know you won't say my
don't tell me, don't tell me why I know, no, no, you won't save my life Save my life Baby, keep on you, keep on you making the way So we finished letting her process. I then shampooed her with Olaplex number four, rinsed that out, then applied Olaplex number two treatment all over her mids and ends like I do for every single client. This way they get the part two Olaplex treatment as I'm doing the root toner. It makes the hair easy to detangle and the number two treatment acts as a barrier when combing through my root toner. I always let the number two process while I root tone. Since my best friend Chloe is a natural level five brunette, I use level fives for the paint between formula and level Level 6 is for their low lights. I always want it darker at the base than it is for the low lights. Since she's a level 5, my paint between was a 5, I'm going to base root shadow her using Shades EQ level 5. So I'm using a 5N with a splash of 5NA to cool everything down. I love using ends with a little NA on the root area because most people have a muted ashy tone when their hair begins to grow in. For at least the first inch or so I've noticed and I like to duplicate that because I love my colors to look real and natural. So I used four colors for her toner, her Oliver toner that is. I want her to have a nice rich bronze color, so I used 7GB, which is butterscotch. Ooh, I love butterscotch so much. I used 7NB, which is chestnut. 8V, which is my violet to cool any brass or yellow. And 8GI, which is a cool gold, a mauve color. The GIs are honestly one of my favorite shades in Shades EQ. I was ready to surrender my heart. Do you? Only you. These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you and the truth. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me why. I know, no, no, you won't save my life. Save my life. Baby, keep on you, keep on you making the way.
da all right guys look at that color what do you think we're obsessed with it chloe was so happy we have done three sessions taking her lighter in the last several months but i totally agree with her when she says this is her favorite and she feels like herself let us know what you think down below yonder in the comment section leave video ideas i want to post content that you guys actually want to see and i'm also making it a goal of mine to start focusing on my youtube channel a little bit more and posting multiple times every week what you guys think about that don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you like this video it helps with the algorithm share with friends and loved ones who might be interested in my content and also don't forget to subscribe come join the family this is just the beginning as always guys so long for now will you save me